Hey, I need direction. Hey, I need some direction. God grant you help. How may I help you? Where are you headed? To Tarnberg. But I quite lost my way in the woods. Give me a moment. I'll take a look around and tell you. All right. No worry. Where are you headed? To Tarnberg, but I quite lost my way in the woods. Head to the south. In a while, you'll see the Tower of Talmberg Castle. Thank you, good man. You're welcome. Godspeed. Stockade. A handful of men could hold it for quite a while.
Look at that. Those heathens are a lot tidier than the bandits. It's my own recipe. <laughs> the secret is in the spices. Good ground for a big fight, but not much cover. You have anything to say? I didn't do nothing wrong. Let me go. I didn't do anything wrong. Let me go. This is a shag. This whole thing is a huge deal. I heard you had some trouble with our human brothers. He provoked the war when the Cimborai were killed by two people. He started the fight. His friend killed two men. I'm just even dogs, sir. Don't listen to what they are. For the last time. Sigismund's mercenaries are guests in our camp, and we treat guests as our own. We are the guests, so we have to deal with them. Yes, and we have to be here. How do you want to punish him? We have to be here to get rid of him. We have to be here. We have to be here. We have to be here. Let him go. Others will remember it. You let these dogs tell you what to do? And you call yourself a leader? <clears throat> no more unnecessary fighting. We are one camp. One army! So fucking remember that! What a stinking shithole. I wouldn't want to live here. <laughs> Enjoy your meal. Hey, should have stayed home. Just when I wanted to vent my rage on someone! Over here! Where is everyone? Quick! Well, you won't be shooting these, are you? Well, you won't be shooting these arrows. The fewer arrows you have, the you keep them messy. I'd like to see you try shooting these now. Bridge. That'll make it easier. A moat. It would take a while to get across, and there's nowhere to shelter from arrows.
What is it? Damn. God be with you, lad. What can I do for you? I'm back from scouting, sir. Excellent. What have you found out? There's an overgrown, ruined village in the woods where they're dug in. That sounds like Pribislavitz. He used to belong to Sir Divish before Havel Maddock attacked and torched it, and then imprisoned Divish. It's been left abandoned ever since. I was hoping they wouldn't be so organised. Earthworks and fortifications. That's quite a different matter from routing some rabble out of the woods. I tried to count them. And how many of them are there? 
Bear in mind I'm relying on what you say. We'll have to call for reinforcements, and that's no simple matter. Every man that comes with us will be lacking somewhere else. And I don't want bandits pillaging some other town because there's no one left to mount a defence. There's a lot of them. I couldn't even count them all. Christ. We'll have to gather armed forces from the whole region to defeat them. Even if it means leaving towns and villages unprotected. Every able-bodied man will have to come with us. There aren't just bandits in the camp. There are Cumans, too. Quite a few of them. Cumans, you say? Where the hell did they come from? Could Sigismund have left them there after he raised Scalitz? This is looking more and more serious. It's mostly bandits in the camp. They're not villagers with pitchforks, but not regular soldiers either. <laughs> no more than I expected. I have no fear of them. But underestimating the enemy can be fatal. I took a look at their arms and armour. They're not a proper army, but they're equipped quite well. What about archers? There's a few of them, and they're positioned well. If we charge them head on, they'll probably do us a lot of damage. I don't like the sound of that. It complicates the situation. Dealing with them before the battle would be the best option. They're up to something in the middle of the camp. It looked like they were making several long ladders. Ladders? That sounds like they're planning a siege. I like this less and less. On the other hand, we can use that to our advantage. If we can capture those ladders, we can use them to scale their own fortifications. That's about all I saw, sir. I didn't notice anything else. That's all right. Did you manage any sabotage while you were there, as I asked you? I managed to slip poison to a few of them. They should be too sick to fight. You're as cunning as a fox. We need more like you. I managed to destroy some of their arrow supplies, so they'll have less ammunition. Well done. That's just what we need. That's all, sir. Don't worry, Henry. You've proven yourself an excellent spy. I need you to go to Sir Divish in Talmberg and tell him to send Captain Robard and his men to our aid. There's not enough of us here in the camp. You can rely on me, sir. What should I tell him? Tell Sir Robard to bring all his men, leaving only a minimum guard at the castle, and to send a message to Sir Hanush to send his men too. I'll leave our camp almost empty as well. We'll need every man we can muster. All right, I'll get going. And be quick. We've no time to spare. God be with you.
are you, Henry? Good health to you, Henry. Welcome, Henry. Henry, I'm glad you st God be with you, lad. What can I do for you? Sir Radzik sent me with an important message. He asked for reinforcements. He needs more men? What's going on? The bandits and Cumans have set up camp in Pribislavitz. They're preparing for something. Sir Radzik wants to mount an assault on them, but he doesn't have enough men. Hang on. Easy now. From the beginning. What happened? I managed to track down the camp of the bandits who raided Neuhof. But it's not just a gang of brigands. More like a small army in a fortified encampment. I don't know what they're up to, but I'm sure they're getting ready for something. And Sir Radzig wants to destroy them before they get a chance. So it's worse than I thought. But Sir Radzig is right. We should do something about them before it's too late. I'll send my soldiers. Sir Radzig said to take all your men and leave only a minimum guard at the castle. What? We can't leave Talmberg unguarded. We've no choice, sir. The bandits have an awful lot of men. Sir Radzig is leaving his camp almost empty as well. He even said you should send word to Sahanish to send his men too. We need every man we can muster. All right then. Sir Radzig knows what he's doing. I'll muster the men and send them with Captain Robard in command. Would you lead my men there right now? Yes, sir. May God be with you in battle. Sir Radzik. I'm glad to see you, Captain Robard. I hope Henry's explained everything to you. He did, but I find it hard to believe. Who could possibly put together such a significant military force and right under our noses? We'll just have to find out, but I don't think we will until after a battle. If we don't deal with them now, who knows what they'll be capable of in a week or two. I agree entirely, my lord. What's the plan? Right, lad. We're almost at the place you described. Now we'll have to advance cautiously. I need you to tell me how it looks around the camp so I can decide which side to lead the attack from. Sir, that's a big responsibility. I don't think I should... I asked you a question, boy. You've been there and seen everything, so speak up. There are three ways to get in. Directly along the straight path to the camp, the long way round through the woods and over an old weir, or by a narrow bridge over a deep ditch. Let's start with the direct route. That sounds like the easiest approach. How does it look there? That path leads round their battlements. It's fortified and patrolled. The chances are they'd shower us with arrows on the way. It's a good thing you're here, Henry. We'll have to try another way then. What about the approach through the woods and the weir? I don't like the idea of marching such a long way over rough ground, but if it's the better option... It's a long way through the woods, and there are patrols there as well. They'll call the alarm before we reach the camp. I thought so. What about the last approach, over the bridge? It's a bit narrow for my liking. It's narrow, all right, but once we get over, we can quickly occupy the best ground for a battle. We only have to take down a few archers. The battleground sounds inviting, but that bridge in the arches, it's not an easy decision. Each option has its pros and cons. Well, I try to answer to the best of my ability, sir. And you'll be suitably rewarded for your efforts. From what you say, the route over the bridge is the best option. If we're fast, we'll have the advantage. With the help of God, we'll win this day. We'll approach from the south and storm them over the bridge. Form up. Forward march. Let's go! To the bridge, quickly! Get to the other side, as many of you as possible! Hold your position there!
our side! Charge them!
around, you dogs! Drive them back! I will cleave you in two, you bastard. You tried before, and yet here I am. What? Who the hell are you? You don't remember me? I remember you, though. Now where's my fucking sword? What the fuck are you on about? What so? Hang on. You're the... Fuck me. I thought we left you to the crows. Tough little fucker, eh? What did you do with my sword? Judging by our last encounter, I'd say you made a big mistake coming here. Where's my fucking sword? But then again, maybe you've had some practice. I hope so. Because last time was too easy. My sword. What have you done with it? <laughs> Talk, you bastard! I'll see you in hell. Tell me, do you hear me? Tell me what you've done with it! <clears throat> I'd say you're flogging a dead horse there. You took him down. On your own. Well done. Nice work. You surprised me. He was a mountain of a man. He was the one who attacked Neuhoff. And stole your sword, sir. The thought did cross my mind. What did he tell you? If we'd taken him alive, the executioner might have gotten more out of him. Oh well, these things happen in the heat of battle. Anyway, we found a trunk full of coin down below. Someone was paying this gang very well. And there were some of Sigismund's barbarians among them. I don't think we've seen the last of this. 
Whoever engineered it was highly placed. They won't give up after one defeat. This louse was just a pawn. I'm afraid you're right, sir. Well, lad, we live to fight another day, eh? That's the fear leaving you, lad. Let it go. Now, put it all behind you. A decent Christian shouldn't dwell on such horrors. I beg to differ, sir. I never want to forget this. The time has come for those whore sons to pay for what they did to us. You're right, my boy. But first, we all need some rest. We'll meet later in the upper castle in Ratte, and then decide what to do next. But come what may, you did a good job today. I will make you pay for this. It's time for the next part of our plan. Give the word. Yes, sir.